Do you think the three-point line is too close for Steph? Think about it. He's always five feet behind the NBA three-point line. This one is like two feet in. So if he's shooting at the line, right, those are shots that he normally would just take a 21-footer, take a dribble, a step back to make it a 25-footer, and then shoot a three-pointer. So it's an interesting question, and I don't know if it's a matter of like visual dynamics, like because he could st- he could still shoot a twenty five footer to be worth three in an NBA game and be th- worth three in an international game. It's clear of both lines, but is it somehow mess with your mechanics? Like you're like visually like I'm four feet behind the line, and therefore this is my touch, right? Or is like all touch generated simply from distance and hand eye coordination to the rim? Because I can see it if you're like used to being at a spot on the court and like. You know, his crazy muscle memory and all that kind of kicks in. And the spot is different. But if it's 25 feet either way and he's just locking into the rim, then you think he would just still shoot from distance no matter where they set the line. I think he's a spot guy. Like, don't get me wrong. He can shoot from anywhere whenever he wants to. But when you see the way that the Warriors run their sets, it's a lot of corners. It's a lot like he gets a lot of right above the break threes, right there, like free throw line, extended three-point line, corner threes, and then top of the key threes on those elevator screens. So while he can, don't get me wrong, shoot it from anywhere he wants, whenever he wants, I do think there is something to the idea that he gets to his spot guy. And in this tournament, because of the the different dimensions of the court, his spot is a little further back than where they really want the offense to be running. Oh, 